Well, for today, you'll need baling wire, a pair of pliers with a wire cutter on it, and some electrician's tape. I figured out the size I'm going to make my uh, gentleman that's going to be sitting on this uh, box covered with a uh, deer skin. And he's going to be, I was thinking, at least a torso that big. And so I went on my printer program and uh, publishing program and downloaded these pictures off my uh, reference material that I've got on my computer. And as, as you can see, my torso is exactly where it should be. So now is when you want to make your armature. And the only reason I'm making an armature, I don't really need to with wax, is because I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you how to make an armature. First thing you have to do is to uh, make the uh, wire straight as best you can. All right. To find the center of a wire, or what you're working with, pipe or wire or whatever, you just balance it, and when you got the balance, that's approximately the uh, center of the wire. Now I'm just going to go up to the uh, collarbone, and then I'm going to spread the uh, wire right there to match the width. I'm following the bones is what I'm basically doing. But I'm going to want to match the width of the uh, leg bones. And so. From the top of the, you know, the rib cage to the bottom of the uh, legs. Okay, or the beginning of the legs. And I want to go down to the knee. there and <coughs> from the uh, knee down to the ankle and that's where the uh, tibia meets the uh, foot. Same thing with this leg. Now, the reason I'm going to this trouble is because I want to keep the legs the same distance and proportional. All right, I'm going to put a wire down in here. the uh, arms uh, created and uh, putting this right in the center of the uh, backbone and there I go for the uh, width of the arm down to the elbow. Then there to the wrist. And I'm going to just uh, make
make a little triangle to where the knuckles of the hand are just to establish my uh, hand and I cut off the excess <coughs> so that the uh, arm comes out looking like this. Alright, I'm going to do that to the rest of this arm and come back. Okay. Now I need to get a length of electrician's tape. And connect the shoulders. the upper part of the torso now to make the head armature I'm going to do that with this leftover wire from the arms stick that down in here. I don't want to attach it because I may want to cut the head off and work on it separately so I've just stuck it down in the space left between the uh, wires and the tape. Alright, that's the armature. So that's the armature for the uh, gentleman. Alright, you may notice that I put up a white background. It's actually a uh, Photo photographer's reflector, but it's the white side of the reflector. And the reason I did that is so that uh, you can see the wax a little more clearly. If, you, if I leave it with the uh, black background, it'll be harder for you to see. So that's why I put that up. Okay, I'm going to uh, get out my uh, trusty drill. wax figure back on the uh, base a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to try to get this wire down in that hole. Oh, it goes in nicely. Okay. Now I subtract for clay and I attach him to the, uh, <coughs> the wire support and I'm putting about oh maybe oh, half inch I think what I'll do is just run that up inside of him too so I can take him off the base if I need to there we go Let's get all these tools out of the way. <coughs> all right, there's the figure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the legs right now. So it'll cut through the wax real easy. I want to split the wax right down the middle. Spread it and place it on the uh, armature. Just like that. There we go.
just encase this whole uh, armature now. I'm going to have to stop and cut up this wax and get it softened up a little bit more because it's a little too hard right now. do something I have to do occasionally. That's clean my tools. I can't mix wax with uh, or with clay, so I've got to clean all my tools. So anyway, this is going to probably take the rest of the afternoon to do because I've got a ton of tools. And so I'm going to have to end this video now. Well, I just finished, put the candle away, and I've got all these tools clean. Now I just need to get them all in the right slot. Good night, everybody, and have a great weekend. I'll see you next week, uh, Tuesday of next week, unless something else comes up and keeps me away from this video.